Hey, good morning. So, it's kind of cold. Um, well, let me not say it's cold, because it's not cold. It's just, it was so nice the last few days, and then, now it's cooling off again. The wind has been blowing, and it's just been blowing everything around the yard, so I'm just kind of trying to get that together and I'm gonna go open the door. I don't know if they wanna come out cause it's so cold, but I wanna get back in the bed. Um, on my journey to one day possibly having me a little small farm, I know I'm gonna have to get up early <laughs> and do this cause I'll have animals that need to come out and stretch their legs and stuff like that, so. Trying to get in the habit now of getting up, taking care of what I need to take care of now. And then I can maybe go back and relax after I finish. Good morning, ladies. Just one this morning. I got four yesterday, so I'm excited about that. Cause I have eight hens, but some of them are still pullets. I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> um, so they're not laying yet, but slowly but surely, I started with one laying, then I had two, then I had three. Now I'm getting four eggs a day, so I'm assuming four are laying. I feel like they're trying to jump off of the nesting boxes over the five foot tents that I have here. Which is hilarious, okay? All right. So the girls are out. I checked their food. They have plenty of food. Forgot it was in my pocket. All right, tomatoes looking okay. My strawberries, I really should have put them in bigger containers by now, but I've been so focused on the tomatoes and the peppers and stuff like that, that I don't know. I'm gonna water everything. And I'll be back. All right, so we're back. Just finished watering my plants. I'm gonna go in here and figure out what's for breakfast. This is this week's eggs. I ordered me a skeleton Are those finally. Eggs? Aren't they so pretty? It's like a peach color one in here. And I don't know what that chicken is. It That hen is a bantam because it's like really small. It's the smallest of them all and it's not going to get any bigger. But I don't know. It's like peach. You probably can't tell that well. Mommy. Maybe next to one of the green looking ones. You can see. Yeah. Mommy. Anyway, my skelter should get here today. Um, so I can have my little spiral thing with my eggs going down. And that would be cute. I want to try to make some rolls or some biscuits. I should do another video because everybody loved and laughed at the bread making video. Which, by the way, that bread did not turn out the way it should have. And I'm sure it's because I went a little crazy with the flour. So I'm going to try it again. I might find another recipe though because I didn't really like the flavor of it anyway. And that could have been because of the flour. I'm not sure. But... Um, I now want to try like to make biscuits and rolls. Oh, rolls. I should definitely try some rolls. So I've decided to make pancakes and eggs. And because I don't have any bacon or sausage, because I want to go to the grocery store, but I'm going to go after breakfast. Um, I'm going to just slice up some hot dogs and fry them. The kids love that. It's almost like so I have some smoked sausage I'm gonna chop up 
I'm gonna slice up some smoked sausage because they really like sausage. So that's what we're gonna do. I can never find anything because my daughter puts things away. So although the pancake mix, which I will be making my own pancakes from scratch one day, but for right now, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. But my pancake mix is supposed to go in this cabinet. Gotcha. Nothing ever goes in the cabinet it's supposed to go in when she puts it away. I don't understand. So I'm not sure if anyone that watches is in my area, but I have been really interested in finding some raw goat milk. I just want to try it. I want to try to make some cheese um, off of a recipe that I got off of um, Roots and Refuge that I follow. And um, she used raw goat's milk because they have goats. And when I went to the animal swap last week, um, there were some baby goats there. And I, one thing I said was, I do want to have animals on my small farm. Um, but I wanted to have animals that were gonna provide me with things that are useful because I don't know if I wanna do like a full farm with a lot of animals with just us girls. But the goats were, so, the baby goats were so cute and I know that they can be used for milk. So I wanna try some milk first before I decide on adding that to the list. I wanna try some raw goat's milk. So if anyone knows of someone in my area, um, which is Central Virginia, um, that has raw goat's milk on their farm or you know that they sell or something, um, I would like to try some. For now, we actually use almond milk, but I would like to try some goat's milk and see, just see. At least to use it in some recipes, if nothing else, because um, I do buy cow's milk for cooking with, um, just not for like to put in our cereal and stuff. This is happening right now. Nobody has made their beds. Just dancing. It's a part of being in a house full of girls. So I mixed the um, pancake dough. I have just always scooped it with a ladle. Um, but I saw this pancake, this like perfect pancake maker thing, where it has like a little thing you fill it up and you just squeeze it. I really want one of those and I'm going to possibly, I have it on my list, on my Amazon wish list, um, but with the babies coming, it's not a priority right now. So, um, I'll just go ahead and use this for now. But once I am able to spare a little bit of cash on it, I will definitely get one and see how it is. I've been reading reviews because they have so many different ones and I don't know which one is the best. Oh my God, should be Obviously they have different um, price ranges, but um, I don't know if I should go with the um, more expensive one, but expensive is not always better. So um, I have like a couple of them on my wish list. And when I have the money, I'll dig deeper and see um, which one to get. But when I do, I'm definitely gonna do a video of me doing, of me using it. Making some pancakes. Gonna eat some chicken eggs today. I wasn't getting very many. I just started getting like four a day. Um, whereas I was getting like one a day. And then there would be days that they would skip and I wouldn't get any. And then I would get like two and then I would get one. And so at the rate that we were eating eggs or I was e using eggs, it's, I'm so sorry, it's so loud. Or at the rate, hey! Um, at the rate that I was cooking eggs or cooking with eggs, I still had to buy eggs um, because they weren't producing 
or give me enough eggs. Um, so this is the first time they were actually going to eat. Cause I, when I cook, there's so many people in this house. When I cook eggs, I cook at least 10 of 10 each time I scramble eggs. Um, last week I made a quiche and I had to use store-bought eggs because I only had like three chicken eggs at the time. Um, and then I waited a little while, got some more, and I used it for the crab boil that I had for my gender reveal. So since then, these are what I have left. And that's what I'm gonna use today. 10 of my beautiful chicken eggs. I fried an egg like two or three days ago, it was huge. And so I said, well, you know, I usually put two fried eggs on my um, egg sandwiches. And that was the day that I made the fresh bread as well. And, um, or the homemade bread. And so when I was going to make my sandwich, I was like, I'm gonna fry this egg cause I only had like three at the time and one of them was really big. I cracked it open and it was twins. I had a double yolk. I'll pop in a picture right now. So I have to clean my eggs. I'll probably always clean my eggs. I've had people say they don't. To each his own. I'm gonna clean my eggs. Um, I don't clean them until I'm getting ready to cook them though because uh, then I would have to put them in the refrigerator. And I like seeing my eggs out. you that let me see if I got some more big ones in here that one wasn't extremely huge this is a big one let's see crack it in a separate bowl we're gonna see if this is a double yolk okay. all right we're gonna see it is ah! what is this chicken doing wow know which one is doing that Probably I one. hope it's okay no it's an older one because it's an Easter egg and we have the Easter eggers first so that was two that's three double yolks I've been getting from this hen wait is that okay I don't know we're gonna have to do some research that is crazy I am like really excited about that but I hope everything is okay okay so um I had to finish cooking because I was starting to burn things, trying to carry on the conversation. But after I finished cooking, I did go back and I asked some of my friends on Facebook in the group that I'm in. Um, and someone gave me a link and I did some reading and it's fine, she's fine. Um, it happens rarely in younger um, hens that are just starting to lay. One of them has been laying for maybe a little over a month and then one just started laying like two weeks ago. So whichever, they're both Easter eggers, so I don't know which one is doing this, but whichever one is laying them, um, both of them are pretty young. It says it happens one in a thousand. I've gotten three. So <laughs> that makes me a very lucky girl. I should probably play the lottery tonight. It's normal. She should adjust as her hormones balance out, is what I read. I'll leave the link at the bottom of this video as well. But just wanted to update you guys. I did finish breakfast. Sorry, I couldn't continue our conversation while I was cooking, but until next time.